it's, it's interesting for me because I, I do intermittent fasting now for, um, I don't know, I'm 48. I'm, all, I'm, almost, I'm almost 50 now. So yeah, I'm 48 really? and, and something. Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't and, think that before at all. So you're doing uh, something. I, I, you thought I was like 47. You know, when someone <laughs> wanted to make a compliment and say, well, no, really, you are. So anyway, I'm almost 50. And I'm doing intermittent fasting. And um, and I'm uh, the funny thing for me is that I tried, uh, I, I was not interested at all about aging when I was, you know, in my 20s. I thought, yeah, who cares? And now that I'm, you know, getting to the 50s, I think, well, what should I do, you know? So anyway, intermittent fasting, I, I am, I'm doing it. Uh, and I, I was always um, able to skip breakfast, always. But I remember that I was forced in Italy to eat breakfast because everyone say, hey, you have to eat breakfast to be stronger. So I, I was always eating breakfast. I mean, uh, my wife say, oh, why don't you eat breakfast? Like it's a bad thing. And now that intermittent fasting is out there, I say, guys, you see that I was not so so wrong. So I, I see a, a lot of people. I also interview Wim Hof and he said, you know, I just eat once a day or something like that. Uh, so I see a lot, a lot of this movement uh, growing. So I'm happy to see that is not only in my head or my habit, but has got a scientific uh, reason. But, but why does it work? This is what I don't understand. Oh, well, we, we know quite a lot about that. Um, our body just relaxes when there's no threats. Um, there's a there's a term called hormesis, which means what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and longer lived. And we have these genes in our bodies. There are three main sets of genes. I work on one set called sirtuins. There are others, one called AMPK, another one mTOR. And these are genes that respond to adversity or threats to survival. So what's the worst we can do to make sure that, that they don't protect us? Sit down, eat a lot of food, uh, you know, don't, don't lift anything heavy, uh, don't eat foods that are from stressed plants. Because uh, plants, when they are also under adversity, we think they signal our body with molecules like resveratrol from red wine. So a lot of what we do now is we have plants that are super healthy in greenhouses, we sit down all day uh, uh, and we, we eat whenever we want. These protective pathways are switched off and we age faster. This is the problem. Modern life is killing us. But there's ways to make the body fight back. And that's why exercise, being hungry, um, and eating foods of certain types uh, are what will activate these genetic defenses. Now, how do they work? That would take you know another sure. few hours. Or yeah. in my book, I explain why and how that we think they work but essentially they they're like uh the pentagon in the u.s they they sense a threat and they send out the troops to protect the body my second question was uh uh, should I fast one day, uh, intermittent fasting? Should I add uh, an extra one day full fasting? Should I go for longer period? Because I read about Longo saying, you know, the different system to do this fasting. So what, what, what do you suggest? Okay, so the, the scientific fact is that we, we don't know what's optima, optimum, but right. I would say... Uh, even a little bit will help. Um, but there are a few different types. So it sounds like you and I do what's called the 16-8. Yeah. Uh, right. So it's I try to fast for 16 hours if you can, including sleep. Um, there's another version, which is don't eat for two days. So that's the 5-2 method, uh, which I don't do because I find it it's, it's too difficult for me. But a lot of people do that. Um, try not to eat on the weekend or whatever. If you can go for at least two days, and even better if you can do three, I think, um, I think that that's that's probably going to have better effects in the long run, because there's a type of cleaning out of the body called autophagy, which there are two levels of autophagy. Right. There's just the normal level, um, which is macro autophagy, and then there's this other, there's, there's micro <laughs> the and pro there's, level. <laughs> what's that? Like the pro level, the, the level. Yeah, it is the real deep cleaning, and that gets activated after two or three days of hunger. And so, right. yeah, you and I—I I, I don't know if you've gone for two days. Have you tried going for no, longer? 
No, two days, no. I is out of my pay grade, I think, above, above my pay grade. But, uh, but I try one day. It's hard. Intermit, uh, just 16 easy. But if I go one day, you know what? I start to be very cold when I don't eat. Like I'm cold, properly cold. So I don't know. Yeah, that's a, that's a symptom of this. Um, we drink some hot tea or whatever. But, you know, I, I, I'm with you. I find it's hard to go for longer. Uh, there's, a, there's a doctor here in the U.S., Peter Atia. Um, it sounds Italian to me. He, uh, he goes sometimes for a week without eating, um, probably four, four times a year, something like that. And I think that that would be great if you could do it. Um, Got it. And so there's different levels. But the, the bottom line with, with my book is what I say is um, don't give up on anything. Right? Try it a little bit. And often these things, you have to get used to it. Initially, if you try to skip breakfast uh, and lunch, you will feel like it's too much. So to start with a little bit, you know, every other day, try to have a small breakfast if you are used to it. But the other thing that's important is that everybody's different. And what works perfectly for me and my father may not feel good for someone else. You know, my, my wife needs to have breakfast every day. Uh, she's German, but yeah. dinner for her is not as important. And so you could vary how you do your fasting. That, that's a good point. If my wife doesn't eat breakfast, uh, she will kill me. So I, I prefer that she eat breakfast, but, <laughs> but I prefer to live, you know. But I agree, it, it's, it's different. Uh, everyone uh, different.